Alright, Okami for the Wii. As many of you might know, Okami came out 2006 for the PS2. I didn't get a chance to play it that time around, so I decided to pick it up for my Wii. And it's a great game. It does a lot, I think it does a lot of things better than Twilight Princess does. I haven't finished Twilight Princess yet, but I'm working on it. Um, like, you don't seem to be spending hours in dungeons in this game, unlike Twilight Princess. The brush mechanics, I never played the PS2 one, but I did hear that it was kind of irritating to use the uh, analog stick to um, draw on your canvas, but with the Wii remote, you just point and it's so much easier. The leveling system, you know, you learn new techniques and you just, some of those techniques are going to be needed for puzzles. One of the things I like is it's got this neat watercolor, like, art style to it. It's, um, very pretty for the Wii, especially, and, um, another thing I like is the length of the game. It, I... I'm on my second playthrough now, and I'm roughly 40 hours in, and I think I'm a little over halfway through. So it, if you look for things and you make it, it can be a very long, enjoyable experience. Moving with the analog stick is a little weird because you'll start running and then eventually go faster, and you just kind of want to be able to go faster the whole time. Um, other than that, when using the camera when I was using the brush, it would put, like if I draw a lily pad in the water, it wouldn't draw it where I had perceived that it would be drawn, it would draw it like, instead of here, it would draw it over here. And, overall, this is a, a game that I think everyone should pick up. I'm not sure about the people who played the PS2 version. If you have a Wii, I would at least rent it, and then probably, if you like it, I'd buy it. It's worth having in your collection if you don't already. So I give Okami for the Wii an A.